What's up, YouTube? Reno here. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to make another video before Christmas, but I found something that is almost impossible to find. And that is Penzance. Uh, me and my girlfriend were at um, just out Christmas shopping, and there's a tobacco shop where we were. So I just went in there to check it out. Um, they had some pipes and... Um, it was mostly for cigars, but they did have some pipes and pipe tobacco. And lo and behold, on the shelf was an 8-ounce bag of Penzance. And, uh, I mean, I'm relatively new to pipe smoking. It's only been about a year and a half, almost two years. Um, so, locating that particular tobacco is almost impossible. Being that it's, you know, sold out everywhere. <coughs> so I bought it, obviously. And, um... I'm gonna try it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of English right now. Maybe I just haven't found the right blend for me. Um, I do like Frog Morton, but um, other than that, the rest that I've tried, I haven't been crazy about. So um, I'm hoping this one I will enjoy a lot. Because um, if I do, then maybe that'll open me up to different English blends. I mean, obviously it'd be nice to have Penzance on hand at all times, but it's just not possible unless you get lucky and find a stash somewhere for sale. <clears throat> so anyway, let's light it up. Oh, I'm going to be smoking my Joe Case. Um, what's this pipe called? The one with flames on it. very moist tobacco when you first open it up so um, I let it sit out overnight so it dried out a bit um, my first impression I think would be that it's definitely has a strong flavor which isn't bad um, there are some subtleties that I'm getting um, seems like it's pretty complex, like, a lot of the tobaccos I smoked up until now have been kind of like one note tobaccos, maybe with a little subtle hint of something else at the end. This one seems like there's layers to it, there's, you get the first, you know, taste, and then as you're smoking it, it starts to morph a little bit. Definitely not one I would recommend to a new pipe smoker, but someone who's been at it for a little bit. I can see why people like it. I mean, there's some complexities in there that you really got to concentrate on to get at. I'm thinking as I smoke more, a different kind of tobacco. starting to realize that good tobacco is like a good album, like a music album. Basically, what I notice with music is, if I like a song right away the first time I hear it, that song will slowly get worse and worse as I listen to it. Like, I'll love it the first time, 
and I'll keep liking it second, third, fourth time, but as I get on to like Path of the Fifth, Sixth, Seventh, Eighth time, you just really get tired of it, and it almost gets annoying. And I think what that is, is music is, um, if it's really catchy, then it tends to get old really fast. Whereas the albums that I find that are my favorite are, um, ones I don't necessarily like that much at first, or maybe I'm just like, oh, you know, that was okay. But what happens is, the more you listen to it, the better it gets. The more you hear the, the subtleties of the songs and um, the instruments and how they intertwine. And you start listening to the lyrics more and, and you're saying, well, there's a lot of depth in these. And just through analysis and just repeating listen, repeat listens, you, uh, you find that those albums become your favorite albums. The ones that take time to grow on you, the really complex ones. And the ones you like right away are the tend to be the ones you don't listen to anymore after a short amount of time. And I think with uh, mainstream music, they tend to try to write songs that just appeal to everyone instantly, and that's why those songs tend to be really annoying and bad. And then you get it lighter. Anyway. That'll probably be it for today. Um, I just want to show you guys I got some pins and hands. You know what? I think I like it. I'm going to definitely keep smoking it and um, focusing on the subtleties of it. Maybe I'll have a better understanding of it on my next video. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well and have a Merry Christmas.